There are signs of trouble for Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his Liberals. New polling shows the Liberals and the Prime Minister losing support and potentially losing some seats in Vote Rich Ontario. What does it all mean? Let's get the latest from the founder and chief data scientist of Nanos Research, Nick Nanos. Nick, thanks for joining us today. First, let's look at the overall ballot numbers. The Conservatives under Pierre, Pol Pierre Poliev sit at just over 35%, virtually unchanged. The Liberals have fallen to just under 28%. The NDP is up to nearly 22%. The Bloc is just over 7%. The Greens are at just over four, and the People Party is unchanged at just over three percent. Nick, what stands out? Well, actually, what's what's quite clear, Donna, is that the trend is not favoring the Liberals right now, and that the NDP are up. The Conservatives have been fairly steady over the last number of weeks. But the interesting twist in all of this, Donna, is that you know there was a visit from President uh, U.S. President Joe Biden, which is usually good when the U.S. President visits Canada. Uh, there was a budget, which is usually an infomercial. There's a Liberal Party convention, which is another Liberal infomercial. And what we're seeing is is that the numbers are are not recovering for the Liberals, and the Conservatives have the advantage. And they have the advantage in a number of key battlegrounds where they're picking up support in Atlantic Canada, Ontario, and also in British Columbia. Okay, Nick, let's look at the preferred prime minister graphics. Okay, conservative leader Pierre Poliev is tops for Canadians at 28.3%. That is uh, virtually unchanged. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is down to 23.9%. And that's down more than 2% in the last month. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, he sits at 18.8%. That is up 2.8% in the last month. Bloc leader Yves, Yves Francois Blanchet is at 4.5%. And Green leader Elizabeth May is at 3.4%. And can't forget about the People's Party leader Maxime Bernier is at 2.8%. Nick, at first glance, Justin Trudeau's support has uh, gone directly to Jagmeet Singh. What's your take? Yeah, and you know, the other key takeaway, Donna, first of all, 18% of Canadians are unsure who they would prefer as, as Prime Minister. So that's about one out of every five. It means they're not really enthused about any of the choices. The other thing is, is that usually whoever happens to be the Prime Minister has a baked-in advantage of about five percentage points all of, over their opponents. So the fact that Justin Trudeau is four points back of the of Pierre Poiliev, you know, it's outside of the margin of error just a little bit, but the fact that he's behind is just not good because he is an incumbent Prime Minister. And the other thing is, is with one out of every five Canadians unsure of who they would prefer as Prime Minister, that's not good for any of the party leaders right now. And finally, Nick, let's uh, take a look at how this translate into, translates into seats. We all know the Greater Toronto Area is king when it comes to making a Prime Minister, and the Liberals have owned uh, the area. What are <clears throat> you seeing with your seat projections? Are the Liberals at risk? Yeah, you can see a lot of red, you know, on the right hand side, which is a 2021 election, Donna. You said that they own it. Well, look, it's pretty well all red when we're looking at Toronto and parts of the GTA. So the last election was critical in the GTA helping to build that winning coalition for the Liberals. But Donna, when we check out the latest seat projections in the GTA uh, for uh, for all of the federal parties, it shows a completely uh, different picture. And, you know, the thing is, nationally, our modeling is suggesting that the Liberals could lose as many as 29 seats, many of them in Ontario. And uh, when we look at those GTA numbers, especially, uh, you know, when we look at the, the map of the, of the latest seat projections, you can see a number of things. First of all, that in areas like Oakville and Mississauga, uh, in the latest uh, seat projections that were just on Oakville, Mississauga and play, you know, areas like Cambridge, which have gone back and forth between the, the liberals and the conservatives are also uh, is, is also could flip back. It's in the liberal camp could flip back uh, to the to the conservatives. And so, you know, not good news. What it shows is that the structure of the vote is favoring the conservatives right now and ridings. Uh, that in the last federal election voted liberal are now looking uh, are now basically up for grabs and are very competitive.